Made some changes to my Red Cat Lightning EPX here for speed runs, and that's coming up next here on Jesse B Motors. All right, I got the GPS working. You can see it's at 11.2. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do three runs and I'll go over what changes I made at the end. Okay, pass number one. Now that's a lot better. I'll tell you guys, like I said at the end, what changes I made. I was hoping they would work and it looks like they did. Let's see what our first run was here. First run was 16.1. Kind of slow, but let's go ahead and try it again. Okay, here's run number two. All right, that was a little bit better. Go ahead and bring it back here and see what we got. All right, a lot better on that run. We got 27.1 miles per hour. Let's go ahead and try it again. Okay, we're ready for our third pass. Let's go ahead. That was a lot better. Let's go ahead and bring it back here. Still only got 27.7. Let's go ahead and do another run. Okay, we're gonna try another pass here. I'm gonna try to let it go a little bit longer on this one. That was good. All right, we let that one wind out a little bit further. Go ahead and bring it back here. Let's see what we got on that one. Went up a little bit more, we got 27.9 miles per hour. Let's go ahead and do another pass. This is kind of fun. All right, let's go ahead and make another pass. Takeoff wasn't that great. We're gonna let it go here. Bring it on back here. And we still only got 27.9, so let's go ahead and take it inside and let's go over our numbers. Now that we're back inside, I'll tell you what I did to this. I pulled the front and rear diffs out of this, and what I did was is I put a different grease in them. I'm happy to say Red Cat Racing does put a grease inside their diffs on these. There is no dry parts at all on the diffs of this, so that's a good thing on Red Cat Racing. But what I did was is I did like I did on my WL Toys 144001. I pulled them out and I cleaned them out and I filled them up with Lucas Red and Tacky to thicken it up. That way I had a little bit better takeoff. All the wheels are spinning at the same, just like my WL Toys did. So I kind of like that. Now the one change I did make that I think I'm going to change is I lowered the front shocks. I laid them down a little bit more. And I think what that did is on the higher end, it was taken off straighter at the beginning, but I think it was bottoming out as I was going further down the parking lot and making it jump. So I think I'm going to raise the front end back up on that on the next run. This got pretty decent speeds, but speeds wasn't the main thing I was worried about. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to make a couple more adjustments to this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this motor out. The 550 Traxxas 12 turn that's in my uh, WL Toys 14401. I'm done doing uh, runs with that, so I'm going to stick that in here, and we're going to see how fast this goes with that. And then what I'm going to do, if you follow me way back, way back, and you see all my tracks of Stampede videos, I bought a Castle Creation system, and I put that in my Gravedigger Stampede. Well, that's a 4600 kV motor, and it's actually not a good kV for a two-wheel drive Stampede monster truck. So we're going to rip all this brushless brush stuff out and put that brushless system in this. And then we're going to really see how fast this thing rips. If you guys see anything in the video, comment down below that you think that 
I can do to make this go straighter. I did adjust the dual rates on it too. And I think by lowering the front end, that threw me off this time around. So I am going to raise that front end back up. But like I said, leave a comment down below if you can give me any ideas of how to get this thing going a little bit straighter. Because sooner or later, I do want to put that brushless system in here. And I want to start pushing this thing for faster and faster speeds. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok on Facebook. Don't forget, I got an RC car group over there called RC Car Life. Go ahead and join us over there. I also got a page, Jesse B Motors. And on the page, I'm going to start posting deals on stuff I use. When I come across a deal on it, I'll leave a post over there for you guys to check it out. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you all on the next one.